All right, guys. So back again with uh, part two of my Nomad videos. Uh, what I'm going to do in this uh, part is dismantle the new screen here and get it ready to be fitted into the Nomad. So there's two screws just on the back of this here. The two screws are now removed. So. Hopefully this will pop open. There's a little security sticker here. <laughs> I'm not going to be trying to get my money back on this one. Uh, hopefully this, yep, it just pops open. <clears throat> so I don't want to rip any ribbon cables or anything here. Okay. Came apart lovely. So as you can see these screens have a really tiny driver board in them which is absolutely perfect for what we're about to do is fit it all inside the Nomad. Uh, just a little rib ribbon cable connecting the screen to the driver board and the wires actually have a plug on them here so we'll start by unplugging that. That was tight. Okay, so uh, we'll need the plug off the end of this for our wires. So the, the yellow wire is your video. The red wire will be the power and the black wire will be your ground. So I may obviously I may have to uh, do a couple of grounds on this, a ground for the power and a ground for the video, but we'll figure that out as we go along. This is actually a different screen from the one that Thomas uses in his mod, so I will have to uh, do a bit of figuring out and work around the differences. If you can see here, this screen's just actually hot glued in. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, get a little sharp knife and get this hot glue off, get this removed from the front case. Alright, so I've got that uh, screen out. Actually not too, wasn't too hard at all. I just uh, cut all the hot glue off with a sharp knife and the screen left it out. <coughs> so just shows you, hot glue. <laughs> Uh, solves a million problems. That's actually how I'm going to be putting the new sh this screen into the Nomad. It's just hot gluing it in. So here we have our uh, LCD and uh, pretty much ready to go in to the Nomad as it is. Just leave that driver board stuck to the back of it there. What I'm actually going to do here is uh, leave this wire the way it is for now until we get the screen all in and we see where these wires are going to go to so I know how long it's going to be um, then I'll uh, strip it and get it ready for soldering in back with the Nomad here uh, we obviously have to remove this screen so there's a plug that goes up here which we will just unplug there that allows the old screen to drop down. Now basically we're just going to cut this ribbon cable. There's a ribbon cable that connects the screen to the board. We want to keep this copper piece which has uh, an earth wire on it. This is where your the ribbon cable that comes from the back of the Nomad lies across the top of this and gives it a bit of support as it's bent round. So we want to keep that there. Um, basically we're going to slice this ribbon cable and that's pretty much your point of no return here. Uh, once we do it there's no fixing it. So let's, uh, let's take the plunge and do this. <laughs> Mm. 
And there you go. One dead nomad. <laughs> Seems such a shame. You're never going to be able to use that uh, that little screen for anything. Um, might actually get the backlight out of it and see what I can do with it. Maybe I can modify it into a, a, a Game Gear. Um, looking at the, the back of the Nomad screen here, uh, this is your uh, power jack on this side. And on the opposite side here you have your AV port. So we're going to take our video feed from the AV port and our power feed from the power jack. So it looks like someone has been uh, at this with a soldering iron previously. Because um, uh, some of the solder work there is a bit, a bit dodgy. Uh, but this point here is where we're going to take our video feed from. And it's labelled TP237. Uh, it's just this point right here. So that's where our yellow wire is going to go to. Our power feed is going to come from this point here. Uh, this is labelled TP205. Yep. Um, it's There's three pins here. And we're going to take it from the right hand pin of the three. We can take our ground from either one of these outer legs on the, the power jack here. The centre leg would be your, your voltage positive and the two outer legs your ground. So either one of these will do to take your ground from. The next thing I need to do is uh, strip out this front part of the case get all the buttons and stuff out because uh, it saves me having to mess about with them falling out every time I move the, the case about here. And take the D-pad out as well here. Okay, so the, the D-pad is locked into place. It doesn't come out, so uh, it's not a problem. We can leave that in. Uh, there is a little uh, dust cover here, which uh, Looks like it may be glued in place. It is. So we'll just leave that there. It stops any, well, it's meant to stop the dust getting in uh, behind your screen. And we we'll want to remove the plastic screen here. So we're going to push it out from the inside, just nice and gently. And that was extremely easy uh, compared to the Game Gear games, or the Game Gear screens that come off really easily. I'll actually uh, go around here and clean off all this excess sticky stuff so we get a nice even fixing when we put our new screen on. Okay that uh, cleaned off really easily. Uh, it was just like a double sided tape so I was able to sort of pick it with my finger, get it started and then I could get a hold of it and peel it off. I was left with a little tiny bit of residue but I just cleaned it off there. And Yep, that was uh, nice and pain free. Alright, the hardest part of this is going to be getting this new screen in and making sure it's straight. Uh, the old screen had, you know, points where it sat into, so you couldn't go wrong with it, but with this. This is just sitting freely in the space here. So we're going to have to make sure that it's working. And uh, we're going to have to make sure that it's straight before we commit to putting this thing in uh, permanently. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to wire this thing up and I'm going to run it with a game on it. And that's the surefire way of making sure that this screen is perfectly level and centred. Alright, I think I'm ready to start soldering this in here. Uh, I have the ends of my... Sorry, I have the ends of my wire uh, pre-tinned here. 
See, this is still overly long, but this is to get this screen sorted out here. Um, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of solder to all the points I'm going to be soldering to. I'm going to have to uh, bridge uh, ground because I'm just going to be using one ground point. I will have to uh, bridge a ground across for the power for the screen as uh, this cable uh, this box sort of in the centre was your, your splitter which fed the ground to all these so I'm going to have to uh, add a separate ground going across to the power or to the video sorry so we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can zoom in here This is our uh, power switch here. I'm going to solder to the right hand side, the right hand pin of uh, point TP205. I just want to add a little bit of solder here. Uh, it's not ideal doing this at night because the little uh, spotlight that I use here does give quite a bit of glare off it so it's not ideal but I just have to put up with it okay and we'll add a uh, bit of solder to our ground point here So I'm going to solder to this point here, which is one of the outer four legs of the AV port, which will act as our ground. So uh, if someone has been at this before, uh, maybe this AV port had you know worked itself loose at some stage, and someone has soldered it in. And for our uh, video feed is uh, TP237 which is uh, this point just right here so there is actually quite a lot of solder on there already alright so what I actually did here was uh, rather than uh, committing to split this main wire open here because I don't know what length I want to eat I've actually uh, put a couple of little extensions on here to go across to the other side of the board. So if uh, my earth wire here coming off the main cable and I have uh, put a bridge on it here which is going to go across to the other side of the board. So we'll just solder the earth wire in here. Okay, that's our video and earth in. If we just flip the board around here, we can uh, put those couple of extensions across. So we want our power going to this pin here, which I mentioned earlier. going to uh, one of the outer legs again here doesn't really matter which one just whatever one you fancy the power switch has four outer legs here so we'll just pick one solder to it okay that seems good okay my next step is to uh, loosely reassemble the Nomad here with the new screen attached and see how we get on.